How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another Emily the Show video. So now, in Emily the Show, we could simulate a bunch of seasons. And we're going to do that. The reason for that is because we got our very first career simulation that I'm going to be doing on this channel in Emily the Show. Uh, specifically, I'm going to the show 22. We're going to be doing a Marcelo Meyer career simulation. So, we're just going to let the CPU handle all moves. We're going to let him, if he leaves the team, he leaves the team. The only thing I'm going to have off is injuries. We'll just assume that there's just no injuries. Uh, just for the video sake. I mean, we're, we'll just assume that everyone's healthy. And in this scenario, we'll see what will happen. Uh... With Marcel Meyer, will his career be good? How will it turn out? Will he be a really good player? Will he bust? Let's see what Emily the Show thinks. So, grab into before you deal, leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Let me know down in the comments below what my video is. Social down in the description. I'm gonna play this down below for other Emily the Show 22 French uh, rebuilds and just videos in general. And check out my channel for the TJP. Also, my second channel. With that being said, it's gameplay time. By the way, I will also be using the Red Sox the entire time. So if he does move teams, we'll just try to pay attention somehow, some way. But uh, another thing as well is that <clears throat> uh i'm using the regular rosters and we're not gonna be simulating i mean i'll see you every season but i'll kind of just like give you progress updates i'm not going to show you guys the stats every every season so just wanted to put that out there and now let's uh head on to the game all right so i actually ended up just selecting every team just in case he does decide to switch teams at some point so uh kind of curious to see where he is i think right now he might be in double a uh, if we take a look at the roster chart, double A, Marcelo Meyer. Yep, there's Marcelo. So he is a double A currently right now. So we're going to try to keep tabs on him. We're just going to simulate the entire first season of his double A ball and go from there. Uh, maybe he'll get called up to the majors at some point. If he does, that's awesome. If not, no big deal. We got an entire career with him. He's only 19 years old. So I imagine he'll be in the league for a pretty long time. So at the end of the first season, Marcelo ended up getting called up to AAA. So I guess here are his AAA stats, in case y'all are curious. Um, you know, nothing too incredible. I mean, he is behind uh, Bogarts right now in the depth chart. So I don't know when his uh, ETA MLB is. Let's see if I can actually... Uh, can I look at that? The depth chart, maybe? See what he is potentially going to be in the majors. Uh... Can I take a look, or is it not going to let me? 24. Oh, okay, if I do this. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's projected to be in the majors anytime soon. I don't see him anywhere on here, which is weird. Okay, um, unless I'm missing it. Anyways, all right, let's, uh, so yeah, so not a great uh, first season. I mean, he's all right. I mean, he's got plenty of time. Yeah, so still a top prospect. Uh, let's just simulate the rest of the season. I'll see you guys at the end of the second season. I'll show you guys the first three seasons. All right, so uh, in terms of the depth chart, uh, Marcelo's going to be in AAA still. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update before I start simulating the second season. So he's going to be in AAA for now. We'll see if he ends up getting called up or called down, rather. Maybe potentially, who knows? Or maybe traded. You never know what will happen in this game. We're letting the CPU control, so... Uh, I'm going to simulate, and I'll see you guys once I have an update. At the end of his second season, uh, we we're up to a 72 overall with Marcelo. He had a 258 average in uh, AAA, 6 homers, 37 RBIs. Not too bad. Hitting stats are looking pretty decent. Uh, I like to cut down the strikeouts a little bit. 17 stolen bases is pretty solid. Uh, the fielding, he's made 10 errors. Okay. You know, it's, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there, you know. He's starting to progress a little bit. The, you know, the overalls are going up. The attributes are going up. You still have to see that he is developing. Uh, he's like I said, he's only 20 in his second season uh, as a professional baseball player. So uh, he's making good progress, and uh, hopefully that continues. So uh, we actually did not make the playoffs. I don't know if we'll end up winning. Doesn't really matter too much, but I guess we could simulate and see if whatever they happen to win uh, anything. Um, I guess not. The bats won. Yeah, so it looks like we lost with them. So, yeah. Uh, all right, cool. So, I will see you guys at the, uh, what was it, the third season? Right before the third season, because maybe you might get called up. You never know. So, at the start of the third season, uh, Marcelo is still in AAA. So, that's fine with me. Uh, 
you know, we'll see how he progresses at the end of the season. I'll show you guys his stats again. And then from there, we'll probably just let the simulation run for a few seasons. And then I'll come back with you, you know, after a few years in the simulation. So let's go to the end of the year and let's see if he's uh, got better or worse. Okay, so I just want to give you guys a quick little update. Marcelo got traded to the Diamondbacks. <laughs> so he is now on the Diamondbacks, not the Red Sox. Um, okay. So we will be going to the Diamondbacks now. That's an interesting one for Josh Rojas. Okay. So now I'm wondering. Let's take a look at the depth chart here. Uh, or the roster, rather. We could look at that. So Marcelo is in double A again. Uh, he's actually doing pretty good there. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so <laughs> double A because he got traded. That stinks. Uh, all right, I guess let's see him with the rest of the season and see how he does in double A. Maybe he'll get called up to triple A again. All right, well, at the end of our uh, third season, I tried to stop the stimulation. Unfortunately, I couldn't, but Marcel was having a pretty good season, though. Um, hit around like in the 260s, 270s, so he was doing pretty good. Uh, he's up to his 75, his attributes. As you can see, they're going up his contact against uh, righties. is at a 61, so it's pretty solid. His field numbers are pretty high. Uh, his base running, his steal and base running goes have gone down, but his discipline. So, you know, we got to work on that. But, you know, he is, you know, coming to his own. He's currently in a 75 overall, 21. Uh, I assume he'll be in AAA uh, next season, but, you know, only time will tell. I mean, like I said, I'm going to simulate a few seasons. I want to see if we can get into the majors at the very least. Hopefully, we can get, like, a shot in the big leagues. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to simulate a few seasons, and we'll see uh, if he can make it to the show. Um, if there's any updates that happen that are really urgent, I will show you. Otherwise, I'll just see you guys at, like, around the end of the sixth season of his career. Okay, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick little update. Uh, this is Marcelo's first season that he's going to be in the MLB. So, there are a few shortstops that kind of ahead him in the depth chart in the majors already. But he's there, so he might get some time in the majors. So, we'll see if he can actually, uh, you know, see how he does. So, I'm going to simulate, you know, like I said, uh, this season and the next one. And I'll kind of just come back with you guys uh, once I'm there. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update that he is in the majors. Unless something else happens, like he makes the All-Star game somehow or win to go glove and MVP silver slugger, then I will, you know, come back with you guys or if we win the world series. All right, guys. So I want to just give you a quick little update. This is like technically his still technically in his second season in terms of MLB service, but he did play a little bit last season, 82 games and, you know, he was 225 this season. He did improve though. He's up to an 84 overall, uh, 24 years old. And uh, he hit 258, had 11 homers, 45 RBIs, 101 stolen bases. It's not too bad. He only played 96 games. But I think now he might end up being, like, the starter. So I, I think maybe from this point forward, he might ha start, like, putting up some good numbers uh, in terms of his fielding. Uh, he's actually really good in the field. Didn't make a single error. So that's uh, good to see. I don't know if he ended up getting a gold glove or not. I guess we can go take a look. Maybe he didn't qualify. He probably didn't play enough. But, uh, yeah, he's looking really good. Um so far so good and uh let's let's see if he did let's see if he won an award it doesn't look like he did since this would have been popping up uh, if i was on the team uh austin riley mvp uh in the american league jared walsh man wow 52 homers i played ahead devers maybe that's why they traded for josh rojas uh because they knew devers was gone out the door uh anyways uh, I'm going to simulate, I guess, I don't know, maybe another couple seasons, maybe two or three, uh, or unless something else pops up that's important, whether he gets traded, maybe gets an award or something. So uh, let's just simulate, and I'll see you guys when I have an update for you. All right, so I wanted to give you a quick little update. So here is Marcelo. He's actually doing pretty good uh, so far. You know, the power's, you know, it's 15 homers. So not too much of a power head right now, but... He's hitting 285, up to 285 average, uh, and a uh, 91 overall, which is really good. Uh, OPS is okay. Slugging's not too bad on base plus slugging. Okay, I mean, it's getting there. His fielding is pretty good. He didn't have the, uh, he had much better fielding 
He made it, you know, eight errors, which is okay. This this year, much better. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty good. So far, his war wins above inflation 7.4, which is uh, not too bad. Uh, looking at that. Um, I'd like to cut down the strikeout percentage just a little bit more. Uh, maybe get that to like 15%, something like that. Put the ball in play a little bit more. Maybe try to improve that power just a little bit. Maybe get to 20, 25 homers. That'd be nice. But so far, so good for uh, Marcelo. Uh, he's not made an all-star game. He probably won't make one in Arizona just because there's just a lot of guys that are going to get more votes than he does. But we did make the uh, postseason as a wildcard team. Let's see if we can end up winning this uh, and maybe even advancing. Nope, we lost 5-4. Uh, so that's pretty funny. Kind of just curious to see the box score really quick. How did Marcelo do in his first taste of somewhat postseason success in the way? Uh, one for four with an RBI. That's uh, not too bad i guess um all right uh you know could be a little bit better but yeah we'll see uh how he ends up doing i think he's gonna be under arbitration now going forward so uh, i'm just gonna simulate next few seasons maybe try to get to a free agent and if there's anything that pops up that's kind of important i will uh come back with you guys so i'll see you guys once maybe he's at free agency see where he signs if he stays with arizona maybe he leaves all right, so I wanted to give you a quick little update because uh, we are going to be in the postseason again uh, as the wild card team, and Marcelo is hitting 303. He's di he didn't make the All Star game again, and he was doing pretty good. He was hitting almost 300. So I I don't I mean like I said I don't think he's gonna make it in Arizona. He might have to leave. He's actually up for free agency apparently. Uh, okay, I thought he was an ar uh, arbitration, but I guess not. Uh, okay. Interesting stuff there. Uh, Fielding-wise, he's been really good. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see his war, 16.4. Currently, right now, he's uh, 20 years old, so pretty good stuff. Um, he's, he's having a pretty solid career so far. Let's look at the key awards. Uh, did he get anything? No, he didn't. Really? Nothing. Nothing. I guess he was Spencer Torkelson. Nice. Still no awards for him. All right, well, that's interesting. Well, we're in the wild card again. Let's see if we can end up winning it. That'd be kind of cool. And maybe winning a championship, a World Series. That'd be really cool. Can we do that? Uh, we did beat the Dodgers. That's pretty cool. Uh, in the division playoffs, uh, NLDS, can we win? Uh, can we beat the Padres? That'd be huge. No, we can't. And we lost 2-1. to one. That's unfortunate. 2-1. to one. Wow. Uh, kind of curious to see how Marcel played in the postseason. How did he do? Was he good? Pretty solid. That's actually good. 16 at bats, two homers, four RBIs. He hit 313. So that's uh, not too bad from him. Uh, we'll take it. Um, all right. I guess uh, we're going to just see the offseason, see if he decides to stay in here. All right, guys. So just so you guys know, uh, I think the Diamondbacks ended up picking up Wanda, Wanda Franco. So... Wander's on the team now, which I wonder what that's going to mean for Marcelo Meyer. Uh, is, he's 30 years old right now, by the way, so uh, 94 overall. We'll see how well he can hold up. I mean, the numbers, the, the, the ratings look pretty decent. Obviously, he's really, really durable. Uh, his fielding uh, is excellent. You know, not too bad with the hitting. The, the vision, the discipline, eh. You know, it's all right. Um, contact against righties has been pretty solid. That's still going up, you know. He hasn't cracked 20 homers yet, so I'm not sure. I mean, he's, he's done pretty decent. He's had a pretty good career so far, I would say. Uh, fielding has been really good. He's 22.3 wins above replacement, which is pretty solid. Uh, and he's definitely striking out less, so he's under 20% from his career now, which is nice. And it's going down each season. So, uh, that's pretty good. I mean, he's he's... I mean, let, let's see where he ends up. I mean, I think he still has some good years left in him. You know, he's 94 overall, but I know that this game has this tendency where you hit a certain age or a certain, like, MLB service years, your ratings just go down no matter what. So let's see where uh, Marcelo ends up siding because uh, I think he's time in Arizona's up. Look at this. Marcelo's going to Cincinnati to play with the Reds. Okay, interesting. I wonder how good the Reds are. Uh, maybe he'll be... I don't know if there's any way that they're going to be competing or not, but we'll see. Uh, he's going to be their new starting shortstop. So, cool. I guess we'll take care of the Reds now. 
So, I just wanted to show you guys, he actually finally got an award. Marcelo Meyer with the gold glove. His first gold glove. I think that's his first thing he's got. I don't know if he's gotten any All-Stars. Uh, which is funny to mention that. Wander, who they signed, ended up getting the starting All-Star position for two years in a row. But I guess cause that's because he was hitting like three, almost 340. Which, I, I mean, you know, I guess in Arizona, like, you can't even ignore that. So, unfortunately, we are awful the team that he's on right now. So I guess since I show you guys this update, I might as well just show you the past couple seasons. Uh, I mean, he's hitting the ball pretty well. I mean, the ratings are starting to go down a bit. He's starting to dip. Uh, the power numbers uh, against lefties went up though a lot. But yeah, the numbers are starting to go down. The ratings are starting to go down. He's at down to a 92. He peaked around a 94, 95. Uh, but still putting up some good stats. I mean, 23 homers, 24 homers. So, you know, I thought I wanted him to get like 20 something, and he's done pretty well with that. Still striking out, you know, a little bit too much sometimes, but, you know, the on base, the slugging is looking pretty good. The OPS is around, you know, 860. It's in the 800s a few times, uh, which is pretty solid. And again, he doesn't really make a lot of errors, which is great. Uh, the strikeout percentage is dipping as well, which is good to see. And, uh, you know, his wars was seven in the past couple seasons with the Reds, so. Now, he's playing pretty well. 37 wins above replacement. I think that's pretty solid. So, I mean, I'm definitely going to look up a uh, uh, baseball reference, kind of like where he would rank. But so far, so good. Um, uh, I'm impressed with uh, these uh, these stats so far. So, uh, I guess let's just uh, continue to simulate. And if there's another update, because I don't think this team's going to make the postseason anytime soon. So, if I make another, if I win another award, I'll show you guys uh, the award. All right, so I just wanted to give you a quick little update. We were actually really close to make the postseason with the team, and then we lost, like, the uh, whatever game it was, the 163rd game. And as you can see, Marcel's coming off the bench now, at least against uh, righties with DH. Uh, no, he's just coming off the bench now. Dang, he's not even the starting shortstop anymore. He's regressed. He's down to a 77 now. The, the stats are starting to regress. He's currently 34. He's only played, 50, he only played 15 games this season. I mean, the past two seasons, like, he was, you know, after that 298 season, he hit 260, then 254, then he, then he all of a sudden he's coming off the bench. Dang, man, that's tough. Yeah, he is, he just hit a wall, man. And just, yeah, yikes, okay. Even the fielding kind of took a dip, too. Like, yeah, his war was negative point, uh, one. This past season, I mean, he still has a career war of 42.9, which is pretty good. We'll see how that ends up holding up. Uh, but, yeah, that's a little annoying. Dang, he's coming off the bench already. And look at that contract. He still has five years left on that contract. That's a bad contract then for the Reds. I wonder if he'll end up either retiring after the contract or if the, the Reds will try to trade him because I, I mean, I'm very interested to see what will happen. But he's definitely – his starting days are over. So I feel like his he had a very kind of short-lived – prime but i guess we can kind of talk about that uh well i guess we can talk about towards the end of the video but uh let's just simulate a couple more seasons and see where he ends up or and ends up how and just see how he's doing like is he still gonna be in the mlb i i guess we'll find out i give a quick little update here so in interestingly enough um marcello's been getting sent up and down uh, the past couple seasons, uh, it looks like he is down in AAA now, uh, but he was in the MLB for a little bit, yeah, they sent him back down to AAA, I guess when he was in the MLB though, yeah, like you guys can see, he's barely playing anything, I mean, yeah, it looks like his career is pretty much winding down, I think he's got three more seasons left on his career, two years, and man, that is a bad, that was a bad contract for the Reds, so chances are he's probably not going to get another contract with them, or at least not at this price, uh, and if anything, maybe he'll sign like a minimum deal or whatever somewhere or maybe play in the minors and that'll be his career i think he's seen the, be the best of his mlb days are ever i mean he had 412 when he did play so so that's pretty cool but um yeah other than that i mean <laughs> his war was a 0.03 so that made up for this negative war year so he's now a career 43.2 wins above replacement which i guess is pretty solid so uh but yeah looking like if he does get back called up he's only gonna play a few games each season so yeah, it looks like his career is pretty much going to wind down. So I'm just going to simulate if I have an update on him. and like If he wins like a World Series, that'd be cool. But it's not looking likely. 
the really quick update since this could potentially be the last time we see Marcelo Meyer on an MLB roster. He might sit in for you to see. He might retire. I don't know. But, I mean, he's been in AAA, AA. Now he's been AA, really. And he's actually kind of doing a good job, at least in AA, like this year. So who knows? Maybe this could be his last season or maybe someone gives him a chance. But, yeah, he has not touched the MLB in a couple seasons as you can see. So kind of just giving an update just in the event that he does retire. But hey, at least he had a good uh, year in AA. So let's see if he ends up retiring. I don't know if he will. He might not, but... Um, so far, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks like his MLB time is most likely done. So let me just get through this, and I'll see you guys at the retirements and see if he's there. Retiring, so he's giving me a free to see. I don't know if he's getting, getting picked up by a team or not. We will find out, though. I don't know if he's going to stick with the Reds. Maybe he will. We'll see. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he's still, he's still here. He's still kicking it. Uh, 57 overall, as you guys see, his ratings have really dipped. Uh, his contact went up, though, to 39, which is cool. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. This could be the end of uh, Marcelo. We'll see if he ends up getting picked up or if he's just going to sit in free agency for a year or two and then eventually retire because of the market and his age. But uh, I guess whenever that happens, uh, I'll show you guys on screen since I don't think he's going to hit the MLB again. I mean, if he does, that's a miracle, but... All right, guys, so just to start this 2042 season, just FYI, Marcel is a free agent, so maybe we'll could get picked up by a team, maybe he won't. Uh, but it's looking like his career, like I said, is probably over. Uh, I guess we'll just simulate until he retires. So I'll see you guys uh, once he retires or if he gets picked up by a team and somehow wins the World Series by getting called from the MLB, but I highly doubt it. All right, guys, so it's the 2024 season. He sat in free agency for a few years, and, yep, that's going to be it. He basically didn't play at all after 2039, so he didn't play in this decade. Okay, well, so basically, he, here, let's just go over his career. So he had 1,500 hits, over 1,500 hits, uh, 182 homers, almost 700 ribbies, uh, 480 walks, uh, struck out 1,169 times. He had a 274 average, 336 on base, 436 slugging, 771 OPS. It's not, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, he had, uh, how many, how many errors? Only 37 errors. He, 99, 99.3% fielding percentage. 3,300 assists, 1,680 putouts. He had a 42.2 war, uh, which is pretty cool. 19.3% strikeout rate. Um, okay. Kind of just looking. Uh, how many stolen bases did he have? He had 120 IS career. Okay. I mean, he had a, I, I think he had a pretty decent career. Uh, he had some good, he had some good seasons. I mean, he kind of made it to the MLB only in 2020. Uh, was it 2024? I think was when it was. And he played a little bit. Yeah, he played over 13 years. I mean, he had a he had a pretty solid career. I don't know if it's a Hall of Fame worthy career. This career, probably not. Uh, but we're gonna take a look at some of his stats, like his advanced, like for example, like his WAR 42.2. Kind of just see where that would put him. Uh, so we'll do that kind of just in the closing of the video. But let's just see if he ended up making the Hall of Fame. My chance, my guess, sorry, he did not. Uh, I think he had no All Star appearances. Uh, he definitely didn't start any. He definitely didn't start any. I can tell you that for sure. Uh, if he did have one, maybe he was off the bench, but I didn't see it. He had one gold glove, and that was about it. He had a couple seasons where he had, had like, pretty high average, like 280s, 290s, even hit 300 one season. Uh, and then he had that weird 412 season where he had two straight negative war seasons where he didn't really play that much, and then same thing, he didn't play that much, but he had, you know, limited opportunities, but he made most of those. Uh, and that was it from him. So, uh, yeah, he's not, probably not going to make the Hall of Fame. He didn't make the Hall of Fame, so... I mean, I don't know. Uh, fourth overall pick. Uh, you guys tell me what kind of careers. I mean, obviously, it's a pretty good career. He made a lot of money. And, yeah, he's set up for life. I mean, better than I am. And I'll ever be. And all of you guys probably that are watching this video. So, uh, let, let, let's go to baseball reference. Take a look at his war. See where that would put him. All time, 42.2. And uh, just kind of, like, look at mm, players that would be, like, similar to him. So let's take a look at where he would kind of be. He would be around here, like 459th all time. Cliff Lee is here. Okay, I recognize him. Cliff Lee, John Lester. 
Got some really good seasons. Julio Franco is not too far away. Um, Nelson Cruz is kind of right here. Jorge Posada. You can round that range for the most part. I mean, obviously Bryce Harper and Jacob DeGrom, but they're still active and still doing really good. So, I, I mean, that's not too bad. Jose Altuve is 44. I mean, I don't think it'd be amazing. Kind of curious to see where he'd be, like, in terms of short stops, if I can filter on that. So just give me one moment. So I'm looking at, like, this site here, Baseball Egg, Shortstop War Leader. So he'd be around here. In terms of total war, uh, then there's War 7, which is like their top seasons based on wins above replacement. I didn't look at that. Off the top of my head, War 5, War 3, and then Jars. Jaws, I didn't see that, but he's around that level. Like, a pretty, he had a pretty solid career, like, from our measures, but again, not a Hall of Fame career, in my opinion. Uh, and also, you know, for the fourth overall pick, I mean, not too bad. I mean, he had a good career. Can't complain. I thought maybe he'd be a little bit better in the simulation. I was thinking he would have made more all-star appearances, maybe more gold gloves. Uh, he actually played pretty well when we did make the postseason, which is pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I would have said I expected a little bit more, but he had a good career. I can't complain. I mean, you know, unfortunately, he went to the Reds, which was just – Kind of annoying, and then he got traded from the Red Sox to the Diamondbacks, which also sucks. Uh, don't think that'll happen in real life, but yeah, you never know. Uh, I guess with that being said, I guess we're gonna go to the full screen and close out this video. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for me. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments below some of my videos. Check out my social description and playlist down below. Can other MLB The Show 22 rebuilds uh, or just videos in general from MLB The Show 22? Check out my channel, Fitcon TJP, my second channel, all my socials, and my channel. Just down below the video in the description etc etc and i guess with that being said if there's any other players you want to see me do a career simulation with uh let me know down in the comments below uh and i guess with that being said take care have a great night see you soon and peace